Okay, so I'm back. So, as you can see, we've stitched those in now. They're nice and secure. They're not going anywhere. I'm not going to stitch one down the centre because, as I say, the signature is going to hold that in there. These two as well. You're not going to get anything particularly bulky up there, so, um, you know, don't go mad. But, yeah, I'm quite happy with that thus far. So, let's get some signatures stuck in now. Um, I have a drawer where I keep all my offcuts of dyed papers, which actually, when I've pulled them out, if you can see, they're going to fit not far off perfectly. So I'm going to grab a, a ton of these. Um, there's some different sizes. Um, as long as they're all going to fit within the folds, we're good. So I think these are going to need cutting down a smidge. Um, again, I don't mind when things aren't perfect, um, perfectly straight, perfectly neat, doesn't really bother me. Um, and if they're different sizes, um, again, doesn't really bother me. So I'm not measuring anything. I'm just going to lop a bit off the bottom of each. So we'll have a couple of those. I have got anything as a cover. Now I do like to have, like on here, I shouldn't do that, I didn't cut my finger off. Um, <clears throat> I did put this on as the seat, which it doesn't really go, but I do like it. Um, so I could do with something, I wonder if one of these wildflower pages maybe. Um, just something interesting to look at. Sorry, I'm just looking to see what I've got knocking about, sort of page-wise, that we can use. Um, and then I've just dropped... If you could see the state of this room, it's disgraceful. So I've got a drawer of just random book pages here. Um, I know I've got some florally ones in here. Is that what I need it? Do that so I can actually see what I'm doing. It's needed to hold and I don't really want to use it. I've got to remember I've got to use it on its side, so it either needs to be tall enough to turn or nice enough to use either way. So, what about that? And that might be quite cute. Yeah, that page I've folded. Yeah, we'll use that. There we are. So that this is out of a, a botanical book, and I don't have the name of it, I'm afraid. Um, but they do some really lovely pictures in here. Somebody might recognise it, but yeah. Okay, so there we are. So that's going to be the cover of the signature. So let's start by folding it. Now... You're going to be too wide as well, you are. Right, so I'm going to trim. I don't, I don't want to lose much of the picture if I can help it, but I'm going to trim the top as much as I can. I feel like I'm going to lose some of the side. Mm, possibly get away with that, actually. But height-wise, I'm going to need something like that. Um, yeah, just an ever so slight smidge. But I don't, I don't mind that. I'm all right with that. I'm cool with that. So that's going to be our signature. So <clears throat> I'm not going to go mad with the number of pages. I'm probably going to put maybe six eight in possibly so i'm going to pull out a couple of smaller coffee line a couple of avocado and maybe one of these blue ones because i like them and i don't have many of those um so let's just get back to what we were doing just to measuring i think so that's just going to need a bit of a trim That 
that's probably going to need a bit of a trim. So let's trim them all down, shall we? Because I think that they're all the same width-wise. Pretty much. So let's just... And you have to remember when you fold, um, I'm just going to trim a bit off the top of these avocado ones as well. When you fold your signatures, your pages will all gradually, probably never seen straight that, inch forward. So the more pages you have sitting inside each other, they're going to move forward. You'll see what I mean. Um, you probably know what I mean, but I'm going to show you anyway. So I'm just going to fold all of these in half. So nothing too exciting in this signature, just some plain pages, but we don't want to add too much bulk, do we? And I think a little three hole pamphlet stitch is just gonna be just right here. Yeah, that's not. That's not seen straight, that one. Let's give that a trim. I know I said it didn't bother me, but that's horrendous. All... <coughs> Excuse me, when all the others are straight. <coughs> yeah, this is going to be plenty of pages. I don't want too, too much bulk. And then we'll put the blue in the middle. So as I folded them up, stuff them all in. If you look in the centre, can you see how? Let's get them all to the top first so you can see properly. All of the pages, you know, the, the spines of the pages don't come back here, they move forward. If you can see that. So the width of this inner page, the middle blue page, is going to stick out more than this one because they're all inching forward, only by millimetres. And we're still, when I look, we're still actually within the cover of the signature. So I, I don't mind that. Um, and we're going to pop that there. Just make sure we're not impeding on anything. Because I think we've got an ever so slight squish at that end, just by about a millimetre. So I'm just going to, I'm going to trim a smidge more off the bottom. I know I've got that little bit at the top, but I want to keep part of the flower intact at least. So just a millimetre, I think, off the bottom. So I've hardly taken a thing off. And I think that will just sit a little better inside our little folio there we are yeah can you see now we don't have any curvy pages so fine so what i'm going to do <clears throat> is i'm going to grab my all so because we don't really have a spine on this let me just think about this I'm going to have to stitch it flat. So, it's still going to work. Yeah, it's still going to work. So, just going to grab. Again, I don't mind, but my pages are a bit all over the place. As long as they're within the cover, I either want, when I do my signatures, I either want them purposely within the cover or purposely not. I don't like when stuff just hangs over ever so slightly and you haven't done it on purpose. It annoys me. So, let's just put a couple of clippy clips and line this up where we want it. God, could I have picked bigger clips? Let's put them at the edges, shall we? So I have to remember the, the zigzag bits of the spines, so we don't want to get in the way of them. So now I'm just going to clip it onto the folio itself, now that I've got it where I want it. Oh, that's 
make sure that's moved in slightly there. I mean, we're really pushing it with this, I think. Um, size wise, the width wise, we've got like a millimeter to play with at either end. But that's all right, that's okay. So I would usually do this into um, my cradle, but of course we don't have a spine. So let me just find a bit of a book page. Oh, that's something like. And I'm just going to do three punches. And I want to make sure we've got all the way through the back. Could you see? Can you see that? Where it is? There it is. So I've gone all the way through the folio. I am going to just push it through quite a bit because I need to get my needle through there. And I'm going to come somewhere near the bottom and do it again. So just mind yourself, these holes are really sharp. Can you even see what I'm doing? So I'm just feeding, can you see that? The all through the back. So I've got two holes and I'm just going to do a third in the middle. And again, I'm just putting my finger either side of the all just to strengthen this. I don't want to tear any more than you, you kind of have to. And I'll push that through. So I think that, that should be sufficient. Now I've got waxed thread, um, which yeah, I think I am going to use. Um, as always, way to measure wax thread is three times the height of your pages or certainly of what you're stitching. And then you're not wasting any. I've got... There's my needle, cut a needle, and I'm just going to do a really basic stitch just to hold them in place. Starting in the middle. Try not to lose my tail if I can. Into the top. Out the bottom. You can see what I'm doing. Can you, did you see any of that? Let me start that again. I'm not sure you saw that. Let's try again. So, <laughs> can't find it now. Let me move this out of the way because that's quite off putting. So, needle and thread. Start in the middle and coming out of the back. Mindful of your closure. So, I've gone out of the middle and back through the top. Oh, don't do that. When you're, I should have said, when you're stitching around as well, um, all of your pages and stitching your pockets, and just, if you've got a long floppy closure like this, try not to stitch that down as well as you're doing it. Um, so I've gone out the middle, in the top, then we go right to the bottom, and back out the back, and in the middle again. Super, super simple. Try and get your threads either side sorry i just checking i hadn't gone through that first thread then either side of the center line give it a pull make sure it's nice and tight at the back can you see that threads either side of the center line i'm sure you've seen people stitching signatures a million times um pull that nice and tight double knot and any excess you can trim if you want to. Take off my clips and we should have successfully stitched in the signature. Now, we've got a bit of that, but that's all right, never mind. So we've got our wee pockets, signature in the middle, and I'm quite chuffed with that thus far. So, <clears throat> I'm not going to go to town and start decorating stuff, um, tags and things with you. Um, because as I said, you, you can do them as you like. I've got a few, because it's a Tim holtz -a just a few little Tim Holtz ones that I'm just going to pop in. Just because I am. That doesn't fit very well, does it? Just get one of the little Diddy ones. Where are the Diddy ones? 
I've lost the Diddy ones. You want? Or if you don't want to um, buy the um, the card packs, and obviously you can make your own. You can use pieces of file folder. You could either back with something or design something or, or draw something, whatever you like. You don't have to use this. Um, equally, if you've got one of the paper pads and you get these little squares at the back, where's my... If you just then take... Because they're quite often plain on one side. You know, the... Um, where's it gone? When you get to the back of the box and you get all of the small versions of the pages and you get them in various sizes just cut those out and round the corners and you've got a lovely little journaling card rather than having to buy the extra ephemera pack if you don't want to so i'm going to pop one in that side this just needs the white edge taking off pop one in that side no idea how long this has been going for now um, hopefully I've kept it let's say under an hour I think 45 minutes was always ambitious wasn't it oh that's the same as the can you see the same as the page that we used so pop one in that side pop one in that side and then these larger ones I think actually will you fit there possibly if I got one on the side so we can get one there and one that might look nice on its side. And put one underneath that side, one underneath that side. But obviously you can put in whatever you like. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to decorate the front with you. That's the last thing I'm going to do. And I'm going to use the same as I did on the other. Um, if I can get one to fit these little vintagey things so i used one of these on here so these are snapshots the ideology snapshots and and i love these i do have lots of my own original ones of these um but as it's a tim holtz -a thon we're going to use his tim, that stands out a little bit better doesn't it like that one. yeah should we use that one and we'll put we do have some more of these doodly flowers that we could maybe so this is the only thing with the flap now do i really want to see i could equally have put a pocket on here on the front panel I just don't like that it covers half of it up, which is why I did this like this, because I didn't want the photograph covered up. And now I'm a little bit sad that it does cover up, because I don't want it to, so I don't think I'm going to use that. I'm going to see if I've got any people that might fit at the bottom. So, oops. Do that around there so excuse my huge great big whopping um let's do that folder i can't move it anymore so this is just a photo album that i've pulled my tim holt stuff in so i can see what i've got not my idea i did see it on instagram um you see these smaller people we might get somebody sitting at the bottom um Who do I want? I quite like the little groups. These ladies. If I can pick them up. God, that's well and truly stuck down. Hmm. Anybody shorter? Um. What about these really miserable looking children? Are they children? They're children. God, they look happy. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's try. Let's try you. 
give you a new home. We're going to need something at the underneath it because it's just lost otherwise. So we need something to make it pop. So in keeping with the Tim Holtz theme. So we don't have any pink on there. We could grab a piece of pink maybe to go underneath. I could get one of these. Why can't I open this? This is the page that came off entirely and I had to try and restick it on and made a really bad job of it. Gosh. Annoying. Yeah, we could have had one of these actually. She's pretty. We could have had her. Still might have her somewhere. I like her. Uh, we'll nick a piece of blue, piece of pink. And so I think pink underneath them. They need something bigger and paler. What about God? This must be thrilling for you, this but um, about that. I've got a few of these myself that I quite like. Now we could have that. It's only the people that I'm bothered about seeing. So we could have that upright. You can't see that at all, can you? Could have you upright. In this sort of like that maybe. I want some cheesecloth on there as well. But yeah, I like that. And I'm just going to see if I can find anything to go with my little lady. Because I like her and I want her in there. Where's all the little pieces of stuff? Aha. Um, where are you falling off? She, what are you? No, not you. Um, maybe a little piece. Yeah, do something with that. And I think I want something else on you. And I want something else blue. There, a little piece of blue. There. Yeah, okay, I'm going to do something with that. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> so, I definitely want this, and I think I want to run a thread on it. I want a bit of, it's too flat, I want some texture, so I think I might even use some of this, actually. Just run a thread through there. What do you think? So a bit of that, a little bit of that. A bit of them, and then I want the little pop of green somewhere. Not sure where yet, but somewhere. Where do I want the pop of green? Don't know yet, but I want that on there. So let me just run a thread along there. <laughs> So I've just run a straight stitch and then I'm just down over it and then I'm just going to run a zigzag stitch as well. Just for something else. I want the thread to go. This doesn't go high enough up, I don't think. I know, I know, probably doesn't make any sense, but down you know when you kind of know what you want yeah something like that and then where's my cheers cloth I want some lace I've got one of these old scrap samplers that I was making yeah shall I have a bit of that Possibly. I'm 
No, it wants to be at the bottom, I think. Maybe. I definitely want this down first. So let's I'm gonna use some of the three and one. I'm keeping my threads and I want a bit of ink on it. Um and I'm all about walnut stain at the minute, not vintage photo anymore. That feels a bit too pale sometimes. I like walnut stain or I like ground espresso. Note espresso, not espresso. You know when something just really annoys you? That really annoys me. This glue bottle equally annoys me. Oh my word. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna use the big one. Bust out the big guns. Choose you instead. Oh, I hope this hasn't gone over an hour. I have no idea how long I've been waffling for. Because they break off and break off and stop and start so often. Now, do I want you that way? Because I do like the edge. What do we think? I want a bit of tearage there as well. And maybe a bit there. Do I want that behind and then in front? They look like they're floating. Yeah, that way. I'm going to do it that way. So, if I um and ah, it'll never go down. So let's just slap it on. There. There, we did it. This one. Bit of stuff, globbage. Don't like the white edges on these, so I'm just trying to hide anything that might need hiding. Blobbage on that that we didn't want. Yep, like that. And then where's my little green bit? The tiny green piece. If I want this now, I don't know. Oh no, I don't want it there. That'll do. Just behind the wee fellas. Bonds. Yeah, I quite like that. Like, 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 like. And then I want. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, do I want you on there? Or do I want you on there? I want you on there. And... No. Like that. And... I wanted this this side, but she's at that side. So maybe I have it like that. No, I don't like the extra blue bit. I don't like that. I think the three is enough. I'm going to ink this as well. I do want some jizz cloth behind her 
not lace this time we'll use cheesecloth I mean you could go to town um I've turned that as well haven't I div you could go to town um embellishing um as I did on the other one but just in the interest of speed I'm just stitching around this girl as well um in the interest of speed I won't show you all of that this time um there'll be lots of that on the next one so this is obviously the first in the Tim holtz -a um series and what I'm going to do next time is the little tabby book that I mentioned earlier that I loved making so much I'm going to make with you this time um I don't know how many times I've gone down that picture now I'm going to make with you um on camera so yeah we're going to do one of those so with the little pieces of um the card the rectangle cardstock that we got that i think some of it's like aged wallpaper um and some of it's just plain old cardstock um we're going to use that to make the um the the crux of the pages and then we're going to add in some pockets and some tucks and some bits and pieces um Let's trim this down. I leave my threads. Yeah, so we're going to make the whole thing um, with the tab binding. Um, yeah, so that would be quite cool to make. There's probably a bit much on here, but such is life. Yeah, I like that. Can you see? You can even see what I'm doing. And then, do I want that? I mean, I do. Do I want a smaller one? Maybe I want a smaller one. I've got another little tin. I've got a, literally a drawer next to me in my desk. Absolutely chock full of Tim Holtz stuff. So maybe I've got a little label in here. My little tin of teeny tiny stuff. So these two can just be chucked in there now. I'm sure I will have teeny tiny little labels. I want the same shape. I want a little rectangle label. I just don't want one as big. I don't want to cover her pretty face. Or maybe a circle. Do I have a little circle? Well, maybe that. No, I don't. I want a different colour. annoying when you kind of you know what you don't want it's too plain there's nothing in here what are you oh what are you tiny tiny strip no no, not you. You're too big. Maybe I want something. Maybe something going up. What about the strip going up? Possibly. I'm just going to go over it in a bit of... I know, I'm just going to bend it in half. Uh, I'm just going to go over it in uh, a bit of vintage photo just because I want it a bit darker. I've just bent it in half. That was really clever. And then, that and yeah, quite like that. Quite like you. Yeah, I feel like I kind of want to go to town now and just sort of stick Tim Holt stuff everywhere. Um, which I might do. I might do a bit of that. Oh gosh, this did the right. This video is going to end up being in two halves and it's going to have really weird intros. So, um, yeah, I'm really sorry about that because I've just realised this has gone on for 35 minutes. I think this is probably about an hour and a half, this video. Crazy. Right, okay. Well, I was going to do it off camera, but I might as well just do it with you now if this is going to be a two-parter. What did I say? 45 minutes? What a joke. 
Should have known. Really noisy people outside my house. Um, this is the thing. You could sit here for days doing this. Um, and don't get me wrong, that's not a bad thing. Um, I re This is the bit I really enjoy doing. But I, I do... Do you sometimes take my time with it? See, put, put a bit more fluffy stuff behind there, a bit more, a bit more lace. Oh, should we just, should we go to town with the lace? Should we do that? Oh, let's do that. I like that. Plonk. And get a bit more ink, excuse my arm. So this video is going to be really disjointed now. So I'm going to have to try and figure a way how to sort of start and finish it without looking like a weirdo. So I might have to like film like a little, here's part one. Here's part two. <laughs> Because otherwise it's going to be really... Yeah, after all that, I cut you off then. So before I run and get the kids there, I don't mind that hanging off. That doesn't bother me. And I'm going to have this that I've kind of inked up a little bit. And then stick that there. I feel like I, and I have to do stuff in threes. There has to be a third thing. So... The kids are all right for a minute. Don't panic. Um, I don't have to be there for 15 minutes and it is literally at the end of the street, so it's fine. What about... Uh... No, that's rubbish. No. Donna. No. No, 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 no. I want to find something and I don't know what. No, you can't see again. I thought I'd nailed all this, you know. I thought I'd been really organised. I'd sort of pre-planned what I was going to make. Blue peated it and everything. And it's gone to the dogs. You. That. Yes, that. Let's just chuck that on. Okay. Okay. There. I like. Yeah, I have to. I think it just doesn't look finished unless there's a third thing to sort of. I always imagine it's like holding the two elements together. One's lonely. Two's all right. Three's got to hold them together. That's kind of my, my um, mantra when I'm doing little clusters and stuff. Um, and you can go more than three. That's cool. But you need at least three. Can't fasten that now. Get away. Done. Right. Okay, so super fast before my children think that they've been abandoned. Straighten the camera. Zoom out a little bit. That was my palm. That was really big. So different to how I thought it would turn out to say I pre-planned it. Um, this is what I expected. This is what I got. But I really like that we've done it the other way around. Um, I like the little thing. I, I think I might put something up here. I don't know what yet. But I do feel like, I don't know, maybe something, is this a bit, one of them maybe? What do I think? A bit too bright, probably a bit too bright, isn't it? Maybe with some cheesecloth behind it. I am watching the time, don't worry. So my video froze, which was strange. Um, what does that look like? I feel like I'm panic embellishing now. That's no good. No, forget it. Forget it. We're going to have that. And then we open up. And open up. No, that way, Donna. And open up. And open up. I'm quite pleased with that. Little pockety pockets. Could do a bit more embellishing, but... 
got to pick the kids up. Uh, and I'll probably leave it for whoever purchases I don't know why my video keeps pausing. It's really strange. So, as I was saying, I hope it wasn't a complete disaster. First in the Tim holtz um, Some really little cloth. I mean, literally, these have been made out of scrap and bits and bobs. There's, there's nothing other than the elements, which obviously you know I bought new because I bought them new. Um, but the crux of them, the basis of them is literally your scraps that would probably have gone in the bin otherwise. So I'm really chuffed with them. Um, I'm going to go pick my kids up now because I'll be sat on a curb crying somewhere. And um, catch you for the next one. Bye. So just as a little edit onto the end of the last video, I did decide to put something up here and I grabbed a piece of what was just white lace, chucked it on my wee palette, sprayed it with some coffee, uh, old paper, a little bit of tarnished brass and vintage photo. Let it dry. That was the result. Did sort of a ruffly stitch. Stitched on. There we go. Ta-da!